Hey everyone, so today we're going to be covering trigonometry and its relationship to the unit circle. Um, let's reflect back on uh, the first trig functions that we learned. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. Now we know that these all relate to the right triangle, yet we don't have a right triangle here. So we're going to end up drawing one in later. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what relationship is there between the regular x and y coordinates and the coordinate plane to the trigonometric functions. So since this only deals with right triangles, let's actually draw in a right triangle and add that little theta there. Now we need, we need variables to represent these missing sides. So since this is along the x-axis, we're going to put an x. Since this is going up and down, we're going to put a y. Okay, so we know these ratios hold true for any right triangle. So let's start substituting. So sine theta is opposite, which is y, over hypotenuse, which is 1. Sine theta is y over 1. Now if we simplify that, we just get sine theta equals y. Okay, let's do for cosine. Cosine theta is adjacent x over hypotenuse 1 equals x over 1. We simplify that, we get cosine theta equals x. So we have our normal variables, x and y, then we have our trig variables. What we can do is say, well, in the regular coordinate plane, my coordinates are written as x comma y. If I wanted to convert them so that they're using the trigonometric functions, I can say cosine is the x, cosine theta here, and sine is the y, sine theta here. And then when we uh, cover another video where we fill out the unit circle, we're going to be using this format, cosine first, then sine. All right then, well what about four, five, and six? All right, we already know the first three. Does that mean there's another three? And actually, yes. So right now we have sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So let's say it was written as hypotenuse over opposite. Does this give us a different function? And actually, yes, it does. So when we flip the fractions of our functions, we get different, we get different trig functions. So opposite over hypotenuse is sine. Hypotenuse over sine. Well, hypotenuse over opposite is what we call cosecant. So that's CSC, cosecant. Okay, what about flipping this? So that's going to be h over a, or hypotenuse over adjacent, and that's called secant. So I'm going to put the theta here. So secant. And what about this one? If it's ops over adjacent for tan, it'll be adjacent over opposite for cotangent. So cotangent. So now you have all six trig functions, and you have the basic conversion between the xy and the cosine sine theta. Um, let's finish up one more with the Pythagorean theorem. Now we remember Pythagorean theorem being a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if we were just using the regular coordinate plane, we would just do x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared. So x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared, which is just x squared plus y squared equals 1. But if we're trying to represent it using trigonometry, well, we have to use our equivalent values. So instead of x, it's going to be cosine. So cosine theta squared plus sine theta squared equals 1 squared. And when we simplify this, we get one of the trigonometric identities, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. So theta is written in angles or degrees. Um, not angles or degrees. Um, degrees are radians. Um, so whatever that theta is, as long as it's the same, it will always equal 1, and as long as it's being squared. So that's pretty much it. Um, you're definitely going to be using this a lot uh, for your later topics in Algebra 2 and pre-calculus and calculus. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll make another video later. Bye, guys.